So search can drive many KPIs for the client, whether it be sales, whether it be brand awareness and so on. First and foremost, you need to understand what the client goals are for any campaign that you want to plan. And then you can use tools like the Keyword Planner uh, or tools within double-click forecasting tools to understand how you would actually project out based on a list of keywords whether you would actually hit those campaign goals or not. Um, we 15% of Google searches every day are brand new to Google. We're seeing a huge increase in the number of searches on Google. Um, so the Keyword Planner and uh, tools like Google Trends are like, critically important uh, to understand both uh, client goals around keywords but also seasonality based goals as well. Um, the, the other thing I'd mention about successful search campaigns is measurement. Uh, time and time again when I do work with, uh, with startups down on Google Campus, they forget to actually measure a campaign from the get-go. And then they just look at clicks to the website and they don't understand what's happened. Really, really important that you understand not only the client's goals, but how can you drive profit for a client? Um, and how can you actually set that up and measure it either in Google AdWords using conversion tracking, double click using the floodlight tag or Google Analytics. So search behavior is definitely evolving and that's, this has been helped by the move to mobile. So more and more people have, have mobile devices, a supercomputer in their pocket at the whole time. So they're searching more and they're searching differently based on where they are uh, in the moment. Um, another thing we're seeing an increase, an exponential increase in is, is voice searches. Um, and what's happening there is that we're seeing like threefold increases in how questions on Google. So that, that, uh, that, that evolution is, is quite interesting because there's new signals now that you could take advantage of. More people searching for how-to queries means that in terms of content, you need to be thinking about how you position your content to answer those questions. And we've seen great case studies um, with the uh, All Things Hair project between uh, paid search and YouTube where we were seeing rising uh, uh, trends for hair care uh, on search. And then what we got uh, uh, one of our clients to do was we send them that uh, search data every day. They would send it on to a video blogging network. And then what they do is they, they buy pay search ads that would send people to the YouTube channel to consume the content. So that's a good example of using uh, the increase in the way people search to actually delivering a, a very excellent campaign.